My name is Devin Marks from Spikefish Solutions, and today I'll be presenting our open source development project, Pointix. Zabbix is a network and device monitoring solution that is vendor agnostic, highly customizable, open source, and free. Zabbix gives you numerous options for monitoring your devices, including SNMP, IPMI, the Zabbix agent, and more. The design and features of Zabbix provide granular control over how devices are monitored and make it very easy to add new devices and start monitoring them. More information on Zabbix is available on their website or you can contact us here at Spikefish. This is the Zabbix installation in our lab that we will be using for the Pointix demonstration. In Zabbix, we have created the groups and templates that will be applied to the checkpoint hosts when running Pointix. You can also see that the only host in Zabbix is the Zabbix server itself. This is the R77 domain on our MDS that will be added to Zabbix. The Miami cluster is in staging, so we are going to change the comment to disabled so that the host will be added to Zabbix but will not be monitored yet. Later on, we will also be adding the alpha cluster IP address to the ignore list so that it will not be added to Zabbix. Before we run Pointix, we have to take care of the required Python libraries. First, we're going to download the Checkpoint API module. This can either be installed with pip or by downloading the source code directly from their GitHub page, which is what I'm doing here. Once we have the source code downloaded, we can copy the CP API folder to the root folder of Pointix. Next, we'll use pip to install the PyZabbix and PyYaml modules. If you would like more info on why any of these modules were used, that info can be found in our blog post. Next, we're going to cover the necessary Pointix files that need edits. First, we're going to add the alpha cluster vip to the ignore IP file. This will stop the alpha cluster and its members from being added to Zabbix. The next file that needs to be edited is the groups-templates file. This file contains the lists of groups and templates that will be applied to different types of hosts when they are added to Zabbix. As you can see, the left side of the colon contains the type of hosts, and the right side of the colon contains the list of groups or templates that are already present in Zabbix. The application.yaml file has already been filled with credentials, so we are not showing that, and we are not using the DAPE or override files for this demonstration, but more information on these can be found on the GitHub page. When running Pointix, there are four command line arguments that are necessary. The MDS IP, the domain on the MDS you want to query, the URL of Zabbix, and the SNMP version. The first time you query an MDS with Pointix, it will ask you to accept the fingerprint. This will not be necessary for subsequent runs. Once Pointix is finished, you will receive a command line output with the results of all the hosts that attempted to add to Zabbix. When I refresh the host page, you can see everything from the R77 domain was added to Zabbix except the alpha cluster. You can also see that monitoring for the Miami cluster is disabled due to the comment we put in earlier. We do want to monitor the alpha cluster, so we are going to remove it from the ignore IP list and we are going to run Pointix again. We are going to run Pointix again with the exact same command as last time. When Pointix is finished, we can see that the alpha cluster succeeds, but every other host fails. And when we refresh the hosts page, we can see that Zabbix is now monitoring the alpha cluster. Finally, we want to check the logging file to ensure that all of the other hosts failed because they were already in Zabbix. This file tells us what portions of Pointix executed successfully and what failed or returned a warning. If an error did occur, it can be found under the warning or failure logs. In this case, we can see that all of the other hosts did fail because they already existed in Zabbix. Thank you for watching our Pointix demonstration. You can follow us at the socials on screen, and if you need professional services for any of the products in this video or anything else, feel free to email contact at spikefishsolutions.com. All of the links on screen will be below, as well as the link to the Pointix GitHub page.